are these people shouting? So if you can hear noise, I'm sorry because I don't know why they are shouting, but I can hear them. Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, mwah, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate you. Okay, I'm so excited. You guys, I have a lot of things to show you. So I went to Lagos last week. Yeah, it was it last week? Yeah, it was actually last week. I came back on Sunday and i met my friend lovejoy <laughs> and she drove me <laughs> she drove me to a bookstore and i did a lot of damage that day i bought quite a number of books yeah also i i placed an order while i was in lagos for some bookish things and i want to show you guys also so yes let's start with the first set of books the ones i came i brought books out oh god i should have just paid for delivery yeah and then they would deliver it to me at my house but no, this bookstore we went to was this bookstore called Wida. So I picked up uh, Mami. I was raised to be Mami. Now I want to be me. I don't know what this book is about, but I've been interested in reading it because a lot of people say it's their best book. So I want to. When I got to the bookstore, I saw the art cover, but the art cover was not really looking enticing i don't know though like it was already bending and honestly the paperback was just looking more cute than the other one so i decided to go for the paperback ah, i'm sorry about the noise oh jesus then the next one i got is this one silver sparrow by tayari jones this one i've not seen anywhere before but i read the blob while i was in the bookshop and uh, <laughs> the blob was very very captivating so it's about a man that has two families a public family and also a private family so the public you know how this man that probably probably was cheating on his wife and you know has another family in private so basically the daughter from his public family and his daughter from the private family are best friends and i'm like what say, come again say what <laughs> because that's going to be a disaster waiting to happen like also in the blob it said that one of them knows the truth so i'm like okay how is this going to play out and i got curious so i got it i wished it was in a paperback because that would have been much more you know beautiful i guess aside that another thing that drew me to it is this little girl this black girl with the afro uh i mean the poof the puff it's looking so cute and then this is the other girl. i guess these are the two friends so they're like sisters well, I say sisters or stepsisters or something like that. What would you call that kind of relationship? When I got there and I saw these books, I was so freaking happy. You can't tell me nothing. I got the old Akata series and I got it at a very nice price, if you ask me, because I saw it somewhere else for a very, very ridiculous price and I was like, nah, I can't. I can't buy it. I wanted to buy it. I would have bought it, but thank God I didn't. So this Akata, the old complete series, I was like, no, I gotta get it. The lady was able to come like, you're not even going to get book one first and try to read that one first. I was like, mm, mm So this is the first one. A Cut of Thorn and Roses. A Cut of Mist and Fury. A Cut of Wings and Ruins. Honestly, to me, I think this is the prettiest. The pink one is the prettiest. Look at it. Look at it. It's so cute. A Cut of Frost and Starlight. This one's like a novella, I guess. And then the last one, A Cut of Silver Flames. This this orange one honestly the colors are really cute but then i've seen people with the special editions and the press special editions are so beautiful i wish i could lay my hands on one of them and funny thing is guys i've not read any fantasy book in my life so i don't know what is happening to me that i am buying a complete series of fantasies when i don't even know if i would like fantasies but a lot of people rave about these books so hopefully i'll be one of them and my battery is empty this was another thing they gave me this bookmarks they gave me three yeah you like my cup right <laughs> okay so i'm drinking from this cup because i want to show you guys the bookish items i got this is one of them uh this cup so there's this instagram handle she has the most aesthetic bookmarks and stuffs i've ever seen in my life and i decided to buy when i was in lagos it came in a very beautiful pink box but when i was coming down to ibadan the box got wet and destroyed so i threw it away but she inside it uh, this these two cute cards that just says uh thank you and yeah and that's a brand okay oh and this is how to take care of the cups and 
so I says thank you so much for your blah blah blah. There are so many different designs. I just picked the black one with the uh, strawberries and the fruits. I think this was actually really cute. The other cups I got, these are coffee cups. I got these two. They are so pretty, you guys. This one is the Swifty one. It's it's right. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> and it has this cover wooden cover like this and then this part and the other one I got is stay groovy this one is actually cute too and it has this bouquet at the back and it has this hot hair balloon that's so cute honestly these cups are so so aesthetic careful they are glass then also um, two straws two glass straws and this to wash the cup straws I also had that for bookmarks now these bookmarks are the cutest bookmarks ever I don't even think I can use any other bookmarks again because what what okay so this one says call me antisocial but don't call me I've not removed this one from the wrapper yet the other one says smarty romance book club and the dirtier the better <laughs> I like that the dirtier the better for those who know they know I think I said rubbish today. They come with these charms. I really like them. They're so cute and aesthetic, of course. So I'm still reading Happy Place by Emily Henry. I should finish it this week. But this is the last one. And I've been using this one. I've been using it like crazy. This one is Bookish Body. And this is the charm. The charm is so cute, you guys. Like, look at it. And look at my nails. Oh, you guys. Look at my nails. And look at this cup. Can, can, are you seeing the future? Yeah, that's me. She also added some stickers. I didn't even know they were stickers because I've never seen something like this before. But just a book spoiler repellent. So let's go to the next set of books I got. I'm sorry if you can hear the noise. So I got these ones from another vendor called Fantasy Book Cafe on Instagram. I got it a while ago, but I had some problem with delivery and stuff like that. She could not send it to me. So I asked her to send it to another vendor for me that was going to deliver. So that's why the books came in the same box. Like, let me show you guys the box. So, oh, I'm already tired. But let's start. Let's start with this one. Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Gabber. Yeah, by Stephanie Garber. I got the book too also, The Ballad Never After. A lot of people say if you want to get into fantasy, this is a good place to start. But there's another one that actually competes with this. So I don't know which one I'll start with. But yeah, I've not read any fantasy like I said. And now I'm having about that many fantasy books. I hate when they don't come in the same height. This is hardback. This is paperback. Not not it not it at all but yeah not every love is meant to be so it's like a i think it's probably like a romantic or something like that the ex talk by rachel lynn solomon i've only seen one booktuber talk about this only one and the funniest thing is that booktuber didn't say something nice so i'm like why did i get it but i want to see you know i want to read it it talks about like on a podcast they talk about love or something like that like that i don't know so we should see the cover is actually cute but to be honest in person the cover does not look that nice it looks a little bit faded out and yeah oh my god this one finlay donovan is killing it so i had someone say it's a very funny book where this woman was mistaken to be an assassin so she has she was now employed by someone to kill someone else like it was so funny the way the person explained so i just bought it that's why these two books are so cute so the next one i got is the love algorithm by claudia carol this one the cover is really cute this book was actually expensive if you ask me but i don't know it looked like a sweet rom-com like something i would love to read i think i have the yeah i had to check and i realized that i have this book also by the same author and i've never read I write and I don't even know if I would like it. The last book from Fantasy Book Cafe is this one, Look Like Sinker by Tessa Bailey. She's also the same. It's this is the book two of It Happened One Summer. But you guys, I've I've not read It Happened One Summer, but I have I have plans to read it. Okay, I'm getting it with my next order that's coming in. So yeah. I will read that before I read this one. Apparently, the first one talked about a sister, then this also about a sister. But I don't understand why the spine is already, you know, 
like rumpled okay we've gotten to the big box where i'm gonna be talking a lot and i got this one from gthb she was so nice enough to receive these books from the other vendor for me when i was having delivery issues so yeah so the first book i'm looking at his killjoy by ollie black uh sorry not ollie black sorry sorry, sorry. by ollie jackson killjoy and you guys know that i already have the other books I have the other books, A Good Girl's Guide to Mother, As Good As Dead, Good Girl, Bad Blood, and then the novella, that, which is the last book, Killjoy. So this is complete, like everything is complete. I'm so excited. So I got you guys, I'm so excited. Okay, this is by an author that I'm already in love with. I just recently started reading our books and I'm in love, 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 with it's Taylor Jenkins read. So I... I've read Malibu Rising and I've also read Carisoto is Back. I, I have Daisy Jones and the Six here, but I decided to, like, she's gonna be an auto, auto buy for me. Like, auto buy auto. Yes. I, any book she brings out, I'm gonna buy it because those two books were already five stars for me. I don't know. I've not read the rest, but I feel like the storylines are always really, really nice. So, this is uh, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Everybody braves about this book. This book are, like, I'm the only one that has probably not read this book yet. But I want to and they talk about this lady like she has seven husbands in her lifetime and she picked a particular person to write a story or something like that I'm excited okay maybe in another life and this one talks about a girl that has to choose between two guys I think so if she chooses this guy then we see how our life will be and if she chooses the other guy we see how our life will be and I, I think that's a very very nice concept and then the last one one true loves oh my god this one is one I'm the, I think the one I'm the most excited about because it talks about a girl that is married to a man and the guy traveled and his plane crashed so for a year she never heard from him she had already grieved him and she's moving on with her life and now she has a new fiance that she's supposed to get married to soon and then her husband calls all of a sudden and says oh honey i'm coming back home i blah 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 so 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 happened and i'm like who's she what's she gonna do who is she gonna choose finally because yeah she loved her husband but then she's also in love like a new life with someone else and it's not her fault so i want to know who she would choose like i'm just so freaking curious and i want to know like in fact if if, if possible i may just pick this up and read asap because why not it's taylor jack is rich for that matter she's so good like she makes everything look real so far like no so i'm reading yes i'm even going to, i think i'm going to put them in my immediate tv oh i'm just going to read like uh maybe one taylor jackins read every month because also like colin uva i have been reading at least one colin uva every month and i like it like she makes me happy the song of achilles by madeline miller i have cersei also by the same author but this book is quite smaller and i've not read it i've not read it so they are both greek mythologies yeah if i find cersei in this size i'll still buy it, then probably sell this off or i'll just keep it like that you know books are books regardless but the art is really really annoying highly suspicious and unfairly cute by talia herbert you guys i have get a life chloe brown take a hint danny brown and the other one i have the three books but i've not read them by talia herbert too and i think i also got one recently also by her but i've not read them but you guys i am getting these books because i want to read them they are all books i really 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 want to read so this one is a ya book i don't even know if it is romance but oh my god they are text in it ah, it smells amazing also there are actually texts in it like you see this page Okay, so the next one is Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. They say it's a book about this couple, so 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 happened to them, uh, how they navigate their life or something. I don't know, but people, most people say it's an emotional one, so I can't wait to get to it too. Homegoing by Ya Gyasi. Gyasi. It was specifically recommended by Tumiche herself. She said she read it and she really liked it. The XX by Erin Sterling. This is the book i think this is the book one then there's another one that is the book two but i would like to read it and this will probably be in my october reads because of the vibe it's giving spooky it's giving <laughs> god i think this is 
this is a cat they call them i forgot what they call the cats that follow witches familiar okay yeah they call them familiar so yes oh my god the box set i got this the folk of hair trilogy and you guys already know i have the last book from my last haul what was that how the king of elfame learned to read learn to eat stories so i told you guys that this one was coming and here it is it's here now it's here now oh my god i'm so excited so let's unbox the box together i definitely didn't come prepared so this was the series that i was telling you guys that people say if you want to get into fantasy that this is a very very good place to start it's young adults it's really easy to follow basically oh it looks better without the line on oh my god i'm so excited like <laughs> uh how does it work <laughs> we are up close and personal <laughs> so guys i'm back i'm back i could not finish i could not finish the recording yesterday the their party lasted the whole evening so we are here to do it i was about to open this one i was about to remove the book so let's do that because i didn't open it ah. come on come on oh my god these books are so cute what 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 <laughs> oh <sighs> da -da -da! Okay, so uh, I think the first one is the Cruel Prince. This one, it looks amazing, and it's not so, uh, it's not so big. Like, it's not floppy, but it's something that I can read. Okay, I thought the sticker was um, removable, but it's not removable. Then I think the next one is the Wicked King, and then the last one is the Queen of Nothing. Oh my god i don't like snakes so i think this would be the prettiest book for me so i have one question though why do people arrange it this way like why why they arrange it this way you know the, i know the crow prince is the first book so why don't they put it up then down like that like why is it down upwards do you, do you understand i don't know now to put them back in the box oh, oh boy uh that is not it's not easy to do. I'm glad I got the box set. They will always have their own home like that. Dating Dr. Jill by Nisha Sharma. When I joined Goodreads, like this was the first book that I saw on Goodreads. And then Carla Espinosa bought this also and she read it. And she said it was a very cute rom com. I think it's office romance and it's a doctor. So I love I love this kind of vibe. Yeah. All the feels by Olive Oliva. Olivia Dade, that Dade, that Dade. I don't know, you guys. I don't know the pronunciation. So this is how it looks like. Uh, I think this is actually a series or a standalone series of spoiler alert. And then there's another one about like I'm looking for the complete one. So I think I'll not read this yet until I get the other one. That's just how I am. Things we do not tell the people we love by Huma Kureshi. Kureshi. This was recommended to me by. Uh, to Michelle herself because she said she read it and it was actually very touchy but I didn't know that the book was very tiny like this it's actually tiny. like when I saw the picture it looked like a big humongous book like you know comparing with this that's what I thought but here it is and it's so small it's also a compilation of short stories according to what she told me let's see the oh wow I've not I've not had any purple uh ad cover before then the last book what happened no but didn't take the light light ah my battery is low <laughs> what is happening okay let's finish we must finish this video so um she gave me these bookmarks and the last book that she gave me um that i got okay that i got i bought these books okay there was no free gift here so the last book she I got oh, Francis Rivers uh, reading me love. I remember this book when I was in school. I my friend Tosi brought this book to school, and then I wanted to read it so bad. And I realized this is the most difficult video I've ever filmed, or with the video with the most 
circumstances and troubles and tribulations that I've ever filmed. <laughs> so I was talking about redeeming love that when I was in secondary school, a friend of mine brought this book to school, but she was giving it to other people to read. Then I had to struggle my way to get it. And when I read it, I actually loved it so much. So when I saw it, I was like, okay, Francie Rivers. Yeah, she writes um, Christian romance books. So this is, that's what this is. But I don't know why it has a lot of splotches. Like, I don't know if you guys can see there are like some dots. Finally, we've come to the end of the all. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed showing you guys my new books. <laughs> So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Please tell me the ones I should get to ASAP. ASAP. I'm actually about to film my August TBR. So, yes! I'm excited! So, let's get straight. Uh, no, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> this was difficult to film. What? So, let's show you the books. These are all the books that I got. Everything from the top to the bottom. And then, that is home. Oh, oh. <coughs> Oh no, I forgot my rings. I have to put on my rings. I have to. I went to put powder on my face. <laughs> what the? Oh my god, this live is disturbing me. Please, go and sleep there. Yeah. So, oh, and you can see my nails. <laughs> I'll show you off my nails. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, which is one of these, okay? Oh, this is one of them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>